In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to download the tune file or global folder from your ECU, and then also how to initiate a data log, how to save it, and then how to send both the global file and the data log through email to your tuner. I've walked a ton of people through doing this over the phone so they could send me stuff that I could look at, help them out with it. Just being able to send an email link is gonna save me a whole lot of time and hopefully you guys a bunch of time as well. So let's go find a car in the parking lot and we'll try and uh, walk you through how to do this. All right, first thing is you're gonna need a USB to CAN cable. Uh, for all the videos that I make, I'm gonna assume that you have this. It's not a lot of money and it's basically a, a requirement to do anything. I don't know what the beep is in this car, but oh my God, is it annoying. Okay, this is a brand new computer. I've never hooked up to a car before, so hopefully our USB drivers and stuff will just do what they need to do. This won't turn into a whole big situation. So the first thing we'll do is just double click on our software and open it, and we'll plug in our USB cable. And you see it notice it right away. That's Typically how I find with Holly it always works. So if you plug it in and it, and it doesn't work um, You're in a little bit of a unique situation So as you might be able to figure out by looking at the screen here if we click on download from ECU That's going to pull our global file out of the ECU There you go, and now you can see uh, We just we have a you know the file that was in this car and the first thing that you're going to want to do from here is you're going to want to save it to the computer. So you go to File. Save global file as. And Here's where things could potentially get a little bit complex. On my computers, I make a bunch of different subfolders for different customers and different things like that. But for the sake of this video, and if you're watching a video on how to do this, uh, you're probably relatively new to it. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna click on desktop. And then you're gonna wanna go down here to file name. Probably the easiest thing to do would be to save it as your name. So let's just do my name. And then I usually like would just name it like download or something. That way you're always gonna have a default to fall back on. Uh, so we'll do save. Um, and then sometimes it'll ask you uh, if, if there's some stuff in your inputs and outputs that aren't set up yet, it'll give you this warning, just click yes, make it go away. Uh, and then usually what I'll do is go back to save global file as, and then name it as something else. Now, let's say for the sake of this conversation that you're wanting to email your tune file and global folder because let's say the car is misfiring. So then just give it a name that makes sense to what's going on. Uh, so misfire. And again, we're still saving this to the desktop. So we'll click save. And then yes. Now for the data logging side of it, uh, this little clipboard up here is basically your toggle switch for the data log and you can see, and it's not actually very clear once you kind of highlight it. Um, so once you click on this, you'll see it, it's blue and kind of depressed. Uh, and then you, you know, we'll just hit the throttle, a bunch of something happens. And then once you've finished your run, uh, just double or just click on it again and it'll bring up uh, this save prompt. The biggest piece of advice I can give you on this side of it is when you're going to try to show somebody a problem uh, start your data log basically right before you go to to do whatever it is that's going to cause a problem like if your car has a full throttle misfire at 5,000 rpm you don't need to data log 45 minutes before you try and make a run uh, it makes it very difficult to go through the log and you need to be very specific i get guys that'll send me 30 minute data logs and just you know through email and say what do you think and, you know i Myself, nobody really is going to have time to go through a 30 minute data log unless there's some special situation in which that makes sense. So just try to log what the problem is, and then in the description of your email when you send it, like explain the best that you can uh, what's going on. The more information you give, the, the more likely uh, whoever's looking at your file is going to be able to help you in a reasonable amount of time. So, anyways, if we go back to this, we're going to go back to our desktop here, and we're going to name this uh, Misfire save so now 
if we go to our desktop, you're going to see we only saved two files, but we have multiple files, or I guess it would be three. But you're going to see we have more files here than what we actually saved. So this one here is basically what I consider to be our default. So in case we screwed something up, we always have something to go back on. And then you have these info.txt files. Uh, I don't use those most of the time. So for this example, we'll just get rid of them. Um, and here's the other one. So now we have these two file types here. Oh, you can see this one is that TERX, so the Terminator X. And then this one here is a DL for data log. Uh, so that's basically all that we need to do here in the car. And while we're at it, if you did want to open that data log up, look at it, you can just go to data log, open data log. Uh, we're already at our desktop as our folder. And here's our misfire. And you can just toggle on what you want. Um, obviously we have no engine RPM because this car is not running, but if you look at the TPS, uh, I hit the throttle a few times so you can see it and uh, you, know, you can zoom in on it. Um, I have made a video previously on going through a data log. I'll try and uh, throw that in the description if I can remember to. Now let's run back inside so I quit sweating to death and I'll show you how to send it through an email. Alright, this might obviously vary a little bit based off of which email platform you're using. Uh, this is Gmail, but basically you're just gonna click on the send attachments button. Um, so we'll send it to me. And the easiest thing to do if you've got some crazy email address that doesn't make sense or you've contacted somebody through 13 different social media platforms that all have different names, it starts kind of getting weird. So I would encourage you to put your name in the, the subject. And like, let's just say this is a, I don't know. The car, let's say Turbo LS. Misfire. Um, and then here in the description, uh, again, the more information you can give, the better. Um, if you type like, If you type something like this, it doesn't really like help anybody. Um, I don't, I don't know what that means. So generally, if you're at the point where you're emailing somebody this, you've had some sort of a conversation before, you know. But just put, uh, and then 6,500 RPM, car misfires. Please see if you write please. Actually, it works better. Please see log file and global file. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the attached files. We're gonna go to the desktop. And here's our three files. So you can usually just, if you hold shift, you can click on both at the same time. Click open. And once those finish loading, and just hit send and that's really all there is to it. Well, somebody's at the door so that's a perfect time to end this video. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.